Yo, Nottingham City are in the fucking place. If you love this city, let me hear you make some fucking noise! <laughs> Yo, we're about to get into like, I don't know how many clashes have gone and I'm drunk, but we're here. Listen, we're getting into this clash. Yo, who are you fam? Present yourself. Brazza. Give us that again. Yeah, Brazza. Yep, 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 yep. Yo, it's blunt head for not in a minute. Yes. You know how it's gonna go, it's clash money. We like to see blood, that's all I wanna see. Uppercuts, left hooks, right hooks, fucking round ass kicks. Really yeah. fuck. Let's go. Yeah. One more time, make some noise. One more time, just for clash money, I wanna hear you make some noise. That's it. Yo, get into this. Yo, so where should I start with this bum? Shall I start with Paws and his mum, the lumps in her palm, she farts when she runs, and leaves brown marks around the dark parts of her ass. <laughs> or should I start with Paws and your dad? He's got three balls in his sack, two dicks in his back, and a tattoo that says he takes it in the back from Jack in the crack of his ass. Because <laughs> <laughs> you see, when youth game in this battle, I didn't really have much ammo to go on, but I still wanted to come out here and put a fucking show on, so I said, fuck it, I'm on it. This guy's an unknown like me, but I'll still pull out balls at Revel and Demonic, because lose, me losing to you, fam, far from it. Yo, that smell on your breath, fam, is that vomit? <laughs> Yo, because I heard on the grapevine you got caught in a lay-by with a gay guy back shot in a canine whilst listening to A9 and the Ain't Fine. Oh! <laughs> when I asked you about it, you said no comment because you're a fucking faggot. That's why you can never envision him fingering women and finding a bitch to be sticking your dick in. You're that full of winning, your head will be spinning. Yo, um, fuck. Uh, you're that full of winning, your head will be spinning. Should have stayed in your kitchen with some piff to be billing, but he ain't putting weed in that. He loads it with tea bag and hits that. Let <laughs> me get back to the point now then, in fact. Your mum is a bite, she's a big slag. She takes cocks in her arse, she admits that. Every man on the ends, you would have hit that. Four fingers in a batty like a Kit Kat. Your chances, of... <laughs> your chances of winning, I evict that. Time. Let's get straight into this. You and Polish people are the only reason keeping sports direct in business. Because oh. <laughs> you look like you get dressed in the dark, son. Your bitch looks like Jeremy Clarkson. No. <laughs> you ain't beating me, I got that bitch sat by the BBC. Slow it down, your girlfriend got teabagged by a big black cock. Oh. And I know this hurts, but as contraception, you should try coming on her tits, it works. Because I bet your preteen daughter's got a selfie stick and twerks. <laughs> she will be in room listening to One Direction while stroking erections. Or Justin Bieber while thrusting a beaver. <laughs> I went online to try and get some tips, but your profile's just full of pictures of your ugly fucking kids. I did find that one thing though, you basically really admitting you're a pedo, because he put a status up saying that he'd just become a reverend. He did it online and got a certificate and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, I knew that shit was coming. <laughs> you should have seen the comments to his brethren like, if you need help getting married, boys, I can assist you. Plus, now I can finally marry my sister. <laughs> <laughs> as far as battle rapping reverends go, you ain't even top tier. But this, like, unwanted. <laughs> but this, like, unwanted babies on church steps because you're getting dropped here. Uh. <laughs> Yo, round two on Blood 10, let's get this popping. <laughs> Yo, are you ready? Oh, fuck, it's gone. Hold on, one sec, one sec, one sec. Yo, Yo, it's there, man, trust me, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> one sip is all right. No, the one sip one. might take might take a little two sip. <laughs> yeah, it's gone still, you know. Do my third, yeah. Oh, you remember that too? <laughs> Yo, alright, ready? <laughs> Yo, I took a little little look upon Facebook. That's where I seen some shit that could be perceived to be some bait stuff. Because you said, and I quote, I went to London and I seen this black bloke and I started shaking. Yo, you remember this? Yo, I started shaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he remembers this. Yeah, he remembers this. Ever. Yo, yo. 
I went to London and I seen this black bloke and I started shaking. I started sweating. I swear to God I nearly shit on the pavement. Oh. This guy is coming over and shit is quite blatant. I'm about to get jacked and that was your fucking statement. Yeah, I played ping pong with him. And you wanna know how this, yeah, yeah. You wanna know how this shit turned out? My man just wanted a game of ping pong, but you stereotyped him and that shit's wrong, dude. Jeez. Ooh. That black guy should have fucking slapped you and took you to a classroom. But this teacher will teach you a lesson. Watch what you put on Facebook, dickhead, because man like me will find it and use it against him. <laughs> Time. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right, three, right, right. See what I talk about. I saw a picture of your girlfriend on a night out on Facebook, and someone should have told her she wore so much makeup she looked like she'd been gang banged by Crayola. <laughs> <laughs> She looked like a carrot in a tracksuit. <laughs> How does that attract you? <laughs> and do you want me to tell you why your life's tragic? Because anyone who gets a £20 neck tattoo with their kid's name and date of birth is a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> How does that make sense when you've got kids? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Lee Daniels, you will never be vandal. You're always online begging it, and that's the truth. But I get it. Reverends are always attracted to the youth. Because you're a reverend, but you ain't here to repent. You're only battling because you heard it was an age 14 plus event. <laughs> <laughs> and your eyes go so far in the back of your head. What is that about? When you go swimming, you have to wear your goggles inside out. <laughs> His eyes are so wonky and strange. One eye's going to the shop, the other's coming back with the chain. <laughs> <laughs> so who gave bars to you because you can't tie your shoes? See, this prick got Mixie to write your bars for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I swear I had no involvement. Because you're getting zipped in free, because that's what they came to see. Clash money broadcasting this apocalypse like the AMC. I'm um, Rick Grimes with a magnum on my waist. Daryl Dixon, these sick rhymes like an arrow to the face. And I guess we both got something to prove because they never heard of us, but you fled you to the slaughter like Terminus. <laughs> Shout out you then. What is that? What is that? Walking Dead. Is that them? Yeah, time. Yeah. Right. Yo, I seen some other shit on that social media site where you claim that you got raped by Santa Claus one sick and sorry night. <laughs> shit but for hard. all the times you sat and you cried, <laughs> thinking of ways to be ending your life, never realizing the truth, always swallowing the lies. That in actual fact, the man that raped you that night was your dad in a fat suit and his fat fucking wife. <laughs> 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 Jeez. But I suppose it took the heat off your little sister. He's a pedo rapist. He couldn't resist from sticking it in her. He called it his little chicken dinner. <laughs> oh, jeez. See, so your aunt is your gramps and your dad is your brother. Your sister's your auntie and Yunnan's your mother. <laughs> And you want to know why this dickhead's a tramp? He was begging for back here, and up until recently, he still lived with his mum. <laughs> oh, fuck. Up until recently, he was still living with his mum. Ah, oh, fuck. Yo, <laughs> 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 oh, another swig, another oh, swig, bring it back. Oh yeah, she's. I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> up until up until recently. He was still living with his mum. She was changing his nappy and pushing his pram. The fact of the matter is that this boy is not yet a man. Now, I'm going to end this shit by saying that Graham should have never came for me to slay him. It's a shame no man in the place gives a fuck what you are saying because you're a racist, rapist, girl will never date this. <laughs> Shabby, flabby, still lives with your mammy. <laughs> and rude boy, you just got smoked like weed from a baggie. But, but I was going to end it there, yeah, but one more thing, yeah. Yesterday I had a conversation with this guy. I had a conversation with this guy and he told me that it was into real old school hip hop. Oh no. Because the next thing he told me that his favourite artist was Coolio. <laughs> Love that guy. No joke, no joke. Yo, time. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Congrats,
bars. You want to talk about my mum, yeah? Oh, you got more bars, yeah. I've got another round, dick. Oh, <laughs> 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 you want to talk about my mum, yeah? Guess what rhymes with Lunt's head? I don't know, your mum's dead. Oh. Watch how my bars go over this cunt's head like. How did the church circumcise him? Keep the choir boy sucking him off in the chin. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that hand's shaking a Is little your bit. your girl so hairy and vile I could fuck a missionary and it'd still be doggy style? <laughs> <laughs> Are you a narc or what? You look like the guy from Hot Fuzz that says yarp a lot. Because <laughs> <laughs> my only adversary Satan, my next move blatant. If you try and step I won't miss as I twist his tongue and watch him change patterns like a pair of K-Swiss. <laughs> Beating me is just something you ain't able to do. You bring nothing to the table that's new, so let's stop the fable. You just took an L from Clash Money like Little Wayne's record label. Ooh. Time. Yeah, make some noise for that one! Ooh. I'll do it. <laughs> that was a fucking sick battle, man. I'm happy with that. The only reason, like, it was sick from both sides, but obviously. My boy fucking Blunt said he had a few chokes in it, so I'm gonna give it to Grazza, innit? Right. You don't? Oh, no, no. Is it? Yeah, I'll do it if you want. Do you want me to do it? I'm giving you a chance. You can't. No, take a step out of it, please. Yeah, take a step out of it, take a step out of it, please. Yeah, I'm giving you a chance. Don't be crisp, fam. Yeah, you, you were joke, like, you had me in stitches, had me crying, you both choked a little bit, you both had flow, but yeah, I'm giving it to you. Grazza! Grazza! Do it again. 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 Ready? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, not even, not even on some fire shit, because my, I know my man called me out, but you know what? That was the best battle of the day yet. Yeah, they both they both killed it. I actually think the guy who choked the most is a nicer rapper than the guy who won the battle, but he definitely won through consistency. Yeah, can I just say, man, you shouldn't have put me on late. I drank too much. <laughs> <laughs> I've been telling him for two hours, get me on that fucking stage. <laughs> Make some noise for that battle, people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.